Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about false prophecies. And on the screen, you can see that the blood red moons and the blood moons and the tetriarchs and all the stuff that Hagee and this other guy come up, the guy with the beard, came up with to sell books. And there is a flood now of false prophecies. People saying, Oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Like the 27th of July, 2018, they said that this would be the longest. And they prophesied that these things were going to happen. Well, as you can see at the bottom of the screen right down there, or maybe you can't see it, but it, today is 7-30-2018. And nothing happened. As always, with all the other blood, blood moons since 14 or 15, whenever that started, they come out and started saying this stuff. And I've been watching and keeping track, for the most part, on the events that would happen around the, the blood moons. And to date, nothing significant at all. So, the, the 27th came. I watched. I listened to guys talk about it. As always, it's not true. Never was. Nothing happened. Significantly. I mean, they'll pick things out and try to say that they are. But as you can see on YouTube right here, there's a, a plethora of videos and people trying to say that something significant was going to happen and blah, blah, blah. California could be the biggest one. Quake, uh, could the... <laughs> I'm, it's so ridiculous, I can't even say it. Prophecy alert. It's an alert. Prophecy alert. California could be the biggest one quake. Be, could, could it be coming? Blood moon report. This stuff is false. It always has been. But it sells books. This is the day and the age of clickbait. They say this stuff to get people to look at it because they're trying to get you into a fear mode where you'll go to their YouTube channels or you'll buy their books or you'll watch their programs to come and, and find out that it, none of it was real at all. And there's a reason why this, is a, this happens. Um... Now, not all these people on here believed in it at all. Some of them absolutely just, uh, like myself, knew that it, they know that it's false. I mean, you even can go down to Hindus and even witches right here, witches that say has, that says that there's a, a significant power. And, whoa, this is complete bunk and it's false. I got to get this off here. It's really making me nervous. But now let's go to the Bible. Let's get into it. Uh, Paul warns Timothy in chapter 3 know this that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous, boasters, proud blasphemers yes blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful, unholy without natural affections they don't have a natural affection mm, right there, you could just nail that one right there and that, that one's a big one Truce breakers, they won't, they'll break truces, they won't hold to a, an agreement. Whew. False accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that, uh, despiser of those that are good, they don't like that. Traitors, they tra they're traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Hmm. Having a form of godliness. Now listen to this, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. <clears throat> and he goes right on and he, I mean, it says that we're supposed to turn away from these people. Now, this is, this is so big that I, I just can't even really get my hands on it like I want to. But let's go to a prophecy about prophecies. And most people will overlook this. They don't see this. But I'm going to nail it right here. So if you're listening and you're a false prophet or false prophet, you've been giving false prophecies, this is about you. Not about them. It's about you if you're giving false prophecies. Ezekiel 13.1 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. That what? Prophesy out of their own hearts. Out of here. Out of here. They're, they're the ones giving the prophecies. It doesn't come from God. It comes from themselves. They, they keep thinking and dreaming up things. If you're doing this, you're a false prophet. 
That's it. That's the bottom line. You're a false prophet. You need to repent, turn to God, and get saved. Because you're not saved if you're doing this. You're, you're clickbaiting. You're trying to get people drawn in to buy your books. You're marketing God. You're trying to prove to people that you have power with God when what you need to be doing is concentrating your efforts to show people that God is power. You don't have power. He has the power. Right? We know this in the Lord's Prayer. Hear ye the word of the Lord. 13.2 Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Now he's trying to get through to them. Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their what? Their own spirit. They're not following the Holy Spirit. They're not following the Word of God. They're pulling the Word of God out and mixing it up and making their own prophecies. Ezekiel seen you. He's seen that you were going to do this. And he said that you're going to do it out of your own spirit. And having seen nothing. And have seen nothing. See nothing at all. But it's an imagination. It's things that people dream up to clickbait. To draw people. to. For, it's not about God. It's about you. And you need to stop this. This is a firm rebu be rebuke with love to those that their minds are messed up. Ezekiel seen you, son, and he knows what you're doing. And he prophesied a thousand years ago, <laughs> more than a thousand years ago, two thousand, three thousand years ago. He seen that you were going to be this way in the last days. Listen to what he says. In 13.4, he says, O Israel, thou prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither have ye have neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination. Let's hold on a minute. Thirteen six lying uh, divination. See where we're going. You see what's what's happening there. I don't care who you are. If you're a prophesying blood moons and you're saying this is going to happen and it doesn't, you're a false prophet. So people, we got to be aware that there are people out here that are trying to destroy you or they're trying to get in your pocketbook or both. And you can't listen to this stuff. Saying the Lord, <laughs> saying the Lord saith and the Lord hath not seen them and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Did you see what I just said there? Have you not seen a, a vain vision? Have you not spoken a lying divination? <clears throat> if God didn't give it to you, you got it out of your own heart. You thought this thing up. You're sitting bringing up false prophecies because you're trying to prove something. You're only doing this to make yourself look good. You're not doing God's will. You're not God's prophet. You're not a minister. You are a false seer bringing up lying divination wherefore ye say the lord saith it albeit i have not spoken it he has not spoken this is the the last days that we're in therefore thus saith the lord god because ye have spoken what vanity and seen what lies therefore behold i am against you saith the lord god all my hands shall be upon the prophets that see what vanity and that divine what lies and they shall not be in the assembly of my people neither shall they be written in the writings of the house of israel neither shall they enter into the land of israel and ye shall know i am the lord god today we're seeing more prophets more prophecies more things uh, in the day of social media and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, we're seeing more people coming out saying, God said, the Lord God said, thus saith the Lord. And the God didn't say it. Ezekiel seen it. Paul seen it when he wrote to Timothy and Titus and Peter seen it. These things are a sign to the end time. All these false prophecies is a prophecy within itself. Now go to YouTube and, and bring up stuff and look and see it, what I'm talking about. Soothsayers, this girl is a witch. But somehow this girl that's a witch is somewhat agreeing with Paul Bagley right here, or Begley, and others. The, here's the Hindu. 
There's others on here. There's Hinduism. And all of a sudden, Christians, Hindus, and witches are all talking about the same prophecies. We got a problem, don't we? Don't be alarmed at these things. And don't let them put you into a fear factor so that you'll watch their videos to see what's happening next. That's what clickbait is. Don't be fought, pulled into buying books and other things, believing that, that prophecy is, is coming and that... Because there's people scared to death out there. And you that are false prophesying, you're putting a spirit of fear in people and not a spirit of hope. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering. And what? Doctrine. Read the word of God the way it says. Don't try to bring in the moon will turn to blood. And because we get a tint of red on the moon, that that is a sure prophecy. There's even a guy in here, and many actually, that was saying that these, I'm just scrolling through this, that this blood moon was the beginning of an opening of a sixth seal. Can you believe this? I mean, these people are so demented and so off on the word of God that they don't know anymore exactly what they're doing. They just think that God's on board with them clickbaiting people and drawing people to sell books. In their minds, they're convinced if they write a book and they sell it, and make a lot of money on it they're doing God's will and that's not God's will God's will is for us to preach the Word of God the true Word of God get back into Matthew Mark Luke and John get into the writings of Paul and the others and teach God's Word teach hope teach the that he's gonna return soon look at this stuff and it's hard to imagine that people literally are buying in to this Here's a guy right here. No offense to any of you if if, I, if this is you. Right here. Apocalyptic sign or not? He's asking a question. But the picture, if you look at the picture, it says six seal, blood moon. Yes, that's the, the times that we're living in. Here's another one. Uh, the six seal. They're, they'll say that I'm not doing it, but they're, they're portraying these false messages, and you need to be aware that all these false prophecies is a prophecy that in the last days these people would come out and do stuff like this beware watch don't let yourself get afraid and don't let fear come over you trust in the Lord remember Jesus made it very clear when he said watch and be ready I love you with all my heart just live a humble life with love and hope and happiness don't fall in to the right here in second timothy chapter three don't be any of this right here just love people and be kind and gentle be of a true heart and one day we're going to go to heaven we're going to heaven that's the point remember false prophecies condemned right here in ezekiel listen for these people that make them up in their own head and then sell you a book or try to sell you or bring it up as this is gospel teaching these people are out there right here right now they've always been but now i believe it's the worst time ever love you be blessed in jesus name bye